Few weapons have shaped modern warfare as profoundly as the Gatling gun. Originating in 1861, this weapon featured a revolutionary concept of multiple rotating barrels, ensuring sustained firing at an unprecedented rate without overheating. Modern iterations, such as the M134 7.62mm Gatling gun and the M61 Vulcan 20mm cannon, feature six barrels and have a firing capacity of up to 6,000 rounds per minute. A few years ago, reports emerged that China was in the process of developing a new gun system with a staggering 20 barrels. So in this video, let's take a closer look at this 20-barrel Gatling gun, reportedly one of the most powerful and weirdest Gatling guns ever. In 2021, online images showed a new Naval Point Air and Missile Defense System being tested in China. The system featured a Gatling-style rotary cannon with an impressive 20 barrels, nearly doubling the capacity of the largest close-in weapon system in service with the People's Liberation Army Navy. These images, initially shared on Weibo and circulating on social media, suggest the system underwent live fire tests. However, specific details about the companies behind the system's design and its operational future remain unclear, leaving questions about whether it is a proof of concept or a precursor to a fully operational system. In any case, it's interesting to imagine what this gun would look like. Armed forces typically use Gatling guns to saturate a target zone with machine gun bullets or cannon rounds. Helicopter-mounted Gatling guns are extremely effective at suppressing enemy defenses. Just a second's worth of firing can send scores of rounds downrange, covering a larger area than a conventional machine gun. Navies use ship-mounted Gatling guns as a defense against low-flying aircraft and cruise missiles. The U.S. Navy's Phalanx close-in weapon system, mounted on guided missile cruisers and destroyers, is designed to fill the sky in the path of an incoming missile with 20mm rounds, increasing the probability of a hit and protecting the warship. The 20-barrel Chinese Gatling gun is too large to fit on an aircraft, and its barrels are too small for engaging missiles from a distance. So, China is presumably developing the gun for another purpose drone warfare. The increasing threat of drone swarms to ground troops, military bases and warships has led countries to explore methods for neutralizing large numbers of incoming drones. Gatling guns, owing to their exceptionally high rate of fire, emerge as a potential and straightforward solution. But what else do we know about this gun? Well, we can speculate a few things. First of all, China already boasts weapon systems with more than six barrels, such as the 7-barrel Type 730 and the 11-barrel Type 1130 Gatling gun. Analyzing the reported rate of fire of the Chinese Type 1130 CIWS in comparison to the Type 730 reveals that incorporating additional barrels provides a feasible means to safely enhance the rounds-per-minute capacity of such a gun. So the 20-barrel weapon could potentially operate reliably at a maximum rate of fire thousands of rounds per minute higher than even that of the Type 1130. This approach offers an alternative to other methods of immediately boosting the firepower of a CIWS, such as adding extra guns. In all likelihood, Chinese forces would deploy the new gun system to safeguard critical military assets, such as airfields, ports, headquarters, and supply depots from potential drone swarms. Although the 20-barrel Gatling gun may not be as sophisticated as anti-drone measures in many Western countries, such as jamming or laser technology, the rapid fire could provide a robust and effective solution to counter drone threats. Whether this specific 20-barrel design will be adopted for operational use still remains uncertain. Nevertheless, it comes as no surprise that the People's Liberation Army Navy is exploring larger and more formidable close-in weapon systems,
capable of delivering shells at even more rapid rates of fire, given the emergence of new threats such as drones or stealthy missiles. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.